Kari Lachlan sentenced today for her role in the college admission scandal. She's going to spend two months in federal prison. Lachlan and her husband, Massimo Giannulli, were both sentenced today in Boston. The couple pleaded guilty to paying a half million dollars to get their daughters into USC as phony rowing recruits. WBC's Nick Emmons has the details. In one day, two high profile parents learned their fates for their roles in the college admissions scandal. Actress Lori Lachlan and husband Massimo Giannulli will serve time in prison. Lachlan, two months, Giannulli, five. In May, they pleaded guilty to paying half a million dollars to get their daughters into USC as members of the crew team. In a statement before her sentencing, Lachlan told the judge she thought she was acting out of love for her daughters, but I made an awful decision. I went along with the plan to give my daughters an unfair advantage in the college admissions process. In doing so, I ignored my intuition and allowed myself to be swayed from my moral compass. The Full House star holding back tears went on to say, I have great faith in God and I believe in redemption and I will do everything in my power to redeem myself and use this experience as a catalyst to do good and give back for the rest of my life. While handing down his sentence, Judge Nathaniel Gordon scolded the actress saying, we can only hope that you will spend the rest of your charmed life, as you said you will, making amends for the system that you have harmed. He went on to say he was dumbfounded by the entire scandal because she lived a fairy tale life. Yet, you stand before me a convicted felon. And for what? For the inexplicable desire to grasp even more. For Andy Olivio, a parent to a first year Emerson student, today sentencing a reassuring sign that the system works. It's good to see the uh, justice system uh, did, did us right uh, and that the privileged don't always get away with it. People should be judged on their merits, not by the, the thickness of their wallets. And on top of their sentences, Lachlan and Giannulli will have to pay a combined $400,000 in fines. In Boston, I'm Nick Emmons, WBZ News. Nick, thank you. Massachusetts.